So what the question asks is, is this a monomial? So to determine if it's a monomial, one thing that we have to do is understand that a monomial, remember, is a number or a variable or the product of a number and one or more variables with positive exponents. So here we have a variable being divided by another um, variable, right? So I don't have anything about division. Now, it might be easy to write this on and say, oh, hey, it's not a monomial, right? Because there's divi it's dividing, it's not multiplying. However, it's very important for us to be able to look at and say, can we write a division problem as a multiplication problem? And maybe let me go and let it put you, think about it this way. Can we write addition as subtraction or subtraction as addition? Can we write an addition yeah. problem as a subtraction problem? Yeah. Oh, let's take a look. What if I said 4 plus a negative 1? That's the same thing as 4 minus 1, correct? Right? So can we do the same thing with multiplication and division? Of course we can, actually. What I can do is I can rewrite this and say p squared times, well, r squared, that's a, as a denominator, times 1 over r squared. Because pretend, let's say we can put this back over 1, if we were multiplying these over, p squared times 1 would be p squared, 1 times r squared would be r squared. So what I want you guys to understand is I can rewrite this as a multiplication problem. So it got tricky because we tried to hide it as a division problem. But you need to know we can rewrite division as a multiplication problem. So therefore, this is a monomial. Isn't it 